Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Um, today I want to show you a tutorial on how to make um, invitations or birthday cards or greeting cards in um, Canva. Canva is free. There is a paid version, uh, but you can do everything I'm going to show you today for free. Um, so let's get started. Um, this card that I have here has a few different elements. Um, it's got this um, cheetah print backdrop, which, let me show you, find my uploads, um, is something I had uploaded and put in. And then it's got this, it's about to get wild, which is also something I made in another program and put in. Um, I do have a video where I can, um, I can link to it to show you how I made this, it's about to get wild PNG, because as you can see, um, it's, it's not, it doesn't have a background on it. It's a PNG and I created that in Inkscape. So I'll link to how to make your own PNGs. But that's just a preference. You don't have to have that to make your own kind of card. Uh, Canva has all the text and everything you would want. The reason I did this is, um, although, check this out. Let me show you all the different text features. If I click anywhere in my design and I type a T on my keyboard, it's going to pull up this text, um, text bar. Here's your text. I mean, I'm not even done with the A's. Oh, now I'm into the B's. So you can see the text options in Canva. I'm still scrolling. Um, they're vast. Vast. But I didn't see quickly enough anything that looked like this um, brush stroke. Now it's probably there, but I didn't want to keep scrolling and I knew I had the brush stroke. So I just went and made my own PNG of the brush stroke. Um, another reason I made my own PNG is because I put this um, foil look into my brush stroke and Canva does not have that functionality. The rest of this you can do completely within Canva. So let me show you how to get started. Okay, so you're going to go to uh, canva.com and you're going to pull up a screen that looks similar to this. Um, you will need to create an account, but it's free, so just sign up and create your free, ac free account. And then uh, you're going to come over here to create a design. So you click that. And you can either search for designs that are pre-made. Um, they have pre-made invitations. They have flyers, Instagram posts, Facebook posts, um, you know, Facebook covers, business cards, YouTube thumbnail, Pinterest, pins. I mean, they have everything. Um, but for this card, I wanted it to be a 5 by 7 so I could send it to a print shop. So I'm going to click this custom dimensions and then I'm going to click 5 by seven and I'm going to change it from pixels to inches so that I have a five by seven card. Let me do that again. Now create design and you will see it pop up this workspace which will be a five by seven card when you're done with it. Um, I'm going to click out of this and go back into um, the one I have already made so that we can work off of this. Okay, so I've got this one down here to refer back to, but I do have a blank one up here just so I can show you exactly how I got it started. So you want to pick your theme first. Ours was, you know, kind of a it's about to get wild theme. So I needed this leopard print background. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to come do is upload whatever background I want. Now, I already have this one, but I want to show you how to upload. So I'm going to come to upload an image or a video. I always use digital paper. Um, let me just put this in here just to show you how to upload. So I clicked it, I hit OK, and it is now uploading this image that I had put in here. We're not going to use this, I just want to show you how to upload. Um, if you're wondering where to get digital paper, come over here to Creative Fabrica. It's amazing. Let me type in digital paper. you're going to see like tons and tons and tons and you can narrow that down like if I put 
animal print digital paper. Now I'm just getting animal prints. And the pack that I used was this one right here. I downloaded this. Um, but there's these fun colors. There's, you know, different looks and themes, and we're not in paper anymore. But, yeah, there's just tons and tons of stuff in Creative Fabrica. Um, again, I get all of this for free because I have a subscription membership. Um, but a lot of this is also free or just really inexpensive, and I'll link to that too. But let's come back over here. Okay, so this is done. I'm just going to click it, and you'll see how it comes into my page. And then I just grab my handles and drag and center it up wherever I want it. So that would be my background. However, we're not going to use that, so I'm going to click, and I'm going to hit backspace to delete it. And I'm going to put in the leopard print that we're actually going to use for this design. Okay, so there we go. That is the first thing I did. I put a background on here. If you have a bit of a crazy background and you want to mute it just a little bit, um, you can put an overlay on it, which kind of takes the tone down. Let me show you what that is. So I'm going to come up in here to Elements, and I'm going to come to Shapes, and I'm going to get this square. Notice how it says free. Everything I'm going to show you is free. Okay, so I've got this square here. It's on top of my design now. The first thing I want to do is change the color of it. This box, if you click it, will change the color. I'm going to make it white. This is my white square here, and you can even see down in the code box it says white. And then if you click this little group of squares up here, this is your transparency. If I take that down, you can see what I'm talking about. You can mute that background if it's crazy busy and you need to do that. Uh, for this, we're not going to. I just wanted to show you that feature. Okay, so next I need to get this little black um, element up here, which again is an element, and it is in shapes. So I don't see it immediately. I'm going to click See All. And here's all the different shapes. If it is gray like this, that means you can change its color. If it is, oh, they don't have any that aren't gray. We'll get to that in a minute. Some things are not gray. They're their own color, and you can't change it. Let me find that shape. Where did it go? Okay, it was this one. Um, so I'm going to put this in here. And what I did for my design was flip it upside down because I wanted that little wave on the bottom. So here's my rotator. I'm just going to drag and turn till we get to 180 degrees. And now it is rotated. And take it up here. Drag it out to make it fit the width of my paper, but that's too long. Like, that's coming too far down on my page. I don't want it to be that far down, so I'm just going to drag it up a little bit. Just move it up. That looks about right. I might need to move that again in a minute, but... Okay, so while this is highlighted, we're going to come change its color. Click the box again, and then come down and click Black. Okay, so see, we're moving along. We've got our background. We've got our thing here. Now this is where you would come. You can type the T just while you're right here. Click the T on your keyboard and it will pull up this text box. Don't come over here to text because this is pre-formatted stuff. If you put this in, it's going to um, give you these exact, you can change what it says, but it's going to give you this layout and these fonts. So uh, just stick with the Away. with just clicking your screen and typing a T and it will pull you up a text box. Okay, um, and you can at this point come and pick whatever font you want. Let's see, let's do Asylum. And you can type in your words. Let's see, this is my text. And you can change the color of your text. Uh, you can... You can change the size of your text. We can make it ginormous, spacing, um, alignment, you know, all your normal text stuff you can do here with this. Um, but like I had said earlier, I had my own little design I wanted, so I'm going to go find my design. It's about to get wild. Let's 
put that in here. Okay, let's see. I'm going to center it a little bit better. And I love this. It, it puts the grids on and it shows you when things are centered and it's just great. So we're moving right along. Um, you know, we've got our background. We've got this black element. We've got our main wording. Now I want to show you how I put this little part right here in because it was really cool. So you've got, I'm in my elements right now, and you know, I have all these shapes that I can use. Well, I have more than just shapes. I have um, grids. This is if you have photos. Um, if you want to put two different photos in, you can pick, you know, your grid layout, and it'll just put the photos in perfectly for you. Frames does the same thing, um, but it just puts your photo in a frame. Uh, stickers, there's all kinds of fun stickers, charts if you're needing charts, blah, 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 gradients. So this little design here is a gradient. These are so, so cool. Um, you can change the color on all of these. None of these are a set color, and they're all so cool. Um, the one I used for this project was this one right here. So... I'm going to click it and it will put it into my design. Is that too big? It's a little too big. I'm going to shrink it down just a smidge. Okay. Now you can tell it's not the right color. Mine down here matches my wild. And that's another really cool thing about Canva. Let me show you. So it's highlighted. And I'm going to come up here. These are the two colors that it has chosen to... Um, kind of blend together to create the gradient. I need to change both colors. Well, if you look right here, these are all the colors that are currently in my document. These are my brand colors. You won't have that. Don't worry about that. These are the colors it has picked from the photos I've uploaded. So it picked these colors from my cheetah, and it picked these colors from that upload. Uh, it's about to get wild. Well, this is what I need to match my gradient design here exactly to the wild. So I'm just going to pick two of these, um, you know, just whatever two I want. No matter which ones I pick, it will match to that. It you know, just depends on what you want it to be, how dark you want it to be, how light you want it to be. I want to go back to that first one I had. Okay, so those were the colors I picked for my gradient, and there it is. And then I just added in the text here, um, you know, I clicked my, typed the T and started to do my text. What do I have here? Join us for a bachelorette party. Oops, I can't see it. I think I stopped there. Actually, join us for a bachelorette. Then I moved this down here. I'm not going to retype all of this in here. In fact, let me just copy and paste it because you can see how to type. Oh, let me show you something else. So if I want all of this to stay grouped in together, you can see it's all separate text. If I want it to not move around, I'm going to click my first one and then hold shift. Click my second, click my third, click my fourth. So now they're all highlighted together and I just hit this group up here and then I can move it all as one. Let me move it up here. Okay, so that actually shows me that my gradient needs to be a little bit bigger, too. There we go. The invitation is made. Um, play around with this. There is so, 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 so much that you can do. They do have their own backgrounds that you can choose if you don't want to go to um, Creative Fabrica and get a digital paper. Let me delete some of this stuff here because this one looks kind of cool. I want to see. Oh, that is really cool. Um, just be aware when you're in here, if it doesn't say free, it's not free. Um, most of their stuff, though, even if it's not free, is only a dollar. So that's pretty cool. Um, man, I haven't, I haven't looked through these in a while. They've added some really awesome stuff. This is really cool. Oh, pineapple. <laughs> um, so, yeah, just scroll through here. There's so much that's here. You can get photos. Um, 
let me type in party. And so here's all the photos of a party. Not the kind of party I meant. Let me, let me type in birthday party. That's better. That's more age appropriate. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like, you know, here's a cute little background. Um, say you wanted to do watermelon party. Here's all the watermelon stuff that you could use. I mean, Canva is so, so awesome. You don't have to go outside of Canva if you don't want to, to create your invitations. Um, I just want to see if I can get this one to do the right size. Not really, but if I rotate it, well, yeah, some of them aren't going to work, but... Anyways, play around with it, have fun. When you're done with your design, there are so many options. Just come up here, this is the download. If it's an image like this, it will download as a PNG. Um, you don't wanna mess with the size of it too much because we've already sized it to a five by seven. You don't want a transparent background um, and you don't wanna compress the files because it'll be a lower quality. And if you don't have the upgraded version of this, if you aren't paying for Canva, you won't have these options anyways. So you could just download this PNG and then send it off to a print shop. Um, some other things that you could do. You could share this link. If you just wanted to send it out, um, like in an evite, you could share this link. You could post it to Facebook, Twitter. You could send it in an email. You can... Um, Put it on Pinterest, Slack, Tumblr. Uh, here's some other things. You can actually just print it, send it to Canva's print shop directly from here. So the, the things that you can do with this are pretty limitless. It's Canva is just amazing and that it's free really just steps it up a notch. So I hope you all enjoyed that. Check out the um, check out the video on how to make your own PNGs if you want to do that, which is also free. Um, and then check out Creative Fabrica for all the really cool stuff they have. I love them. And um, if you don't watch my videos, <laughs> then you don't know yet. But I talk about them in every video because I have such an obsession with Creative Fabrica. All right. That's all I have for today. See you next time. Thanks.